If you've watched the science fiction film Interstellar from 2014, you would likely agree that it presents a fascinating portrayal of extraterrestrial life. The movie explores various dream layers and time reversal concepts, pushing the limits of space exploration to an extreme. However, the idea of planets orbiting a massive black hole and serving as potential homes for humans or a planet where time moves at a slower pace compared to our solar system seems almost unimaginable. Despite the intriguing scenarios presented in Interstellar, the question still remains, is it possible for such planets to exist in reality? It is undeniable that Christopher Nolan and his team succeeded in crafting a complex sci-fi film with stunning scientific imagery. A key contributor to the film's success was the involvement of Kip Thorne, a physicist from the California Institute of Technology. However, Interstellar is not solely a work of fiction, as it includes elements that could potentially become reality. The film depicts a future Earth lacking in vital resources such as food, water, and order. This bleak scenario is not far-fetched, given the rapid pace of carbon emissions and other threats to human existence on our planet. Let's take a closer look at some scientific concepts portrayed in the movie Interstellar. One of the most accurate depictions is the wormhole, which plays a central role in the film's plot. Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway portray astronauts who journey through a stunning wormhole beyond our solar system in search of a new home for humanity, as Earth is on the brink of extinction. Wormholes are a theoretical construct rooted in Einstein's general theory of relativity. These tunnels can potentially enable swift travel by warping space-time between distant parts of the universe. The wormhole featured in Interstellar is based on sound scientific principles. It appears near Saturn several years before the events of the movie and takes on a spherical shape, providing a warped view of the target galaxy. Some have speculated that this wormhole may be the same black hole discovered by astronomers in 2022, and simulations conducted by physicist Kip Thorne suggest that this could be the case. Black holes are defined by NASA as areas in space where gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. The only significant difference between the movie's depiction of a wormhole and reality is that real wormholes cannot be seen with the naked eye. In the movie, NASA sent a team of astronauts known as the Endurance Team through the wormhole to explore 12 potential worlds as part of Project Lazarus. Three of these worlds, Miller, Mann, and Edmonds, returned positive signals. One of the potential worlds explored by the Endurance Team and Interstellar was deemed the most suitable for habitation and designated to host 5,000 human embryos to ensure the survival of the human race. However, the team faced significant challenges when attempting to land on Miller's planet, which orbits a black hole. The black hole's tidal forces generated waves hundreds of feet tall in the planet's two-foot ocean and caused time dilation, complicating the landing mission. Astronomers typically define a habitable zone in a planetary system as an area where temperatures allow for the existence of liquid water and where light from the system's star can reach. In Interstellar, one of the pivotal scenes involves the team's decision to abandon Miller's planet after encountering insurmountable difficulties. They opt instead to explore man's planet, which ultimately proves disastrous, resulting in the loss of one team member. The only remaining survivors, Cooper and Brand, resolve to make their way to Edmund's planet, but they face a daunting fuel shortage. Their only hope lies in harnessing the gravitational forces of Gargantua, which could propel them towards their destination, but only if Cooper is willing to sacrifice himself by ejecting from the ship. In Interstellar, McConaughey's character Cooper detaches himself from the Endurance spacecraft in order to reduce weight and enable Hathaway's character Brand to reach Edmund's planet. However, Cooper is inevitably pulled into the black hole, raising the question of whether survival in a black hole is possible. According to research, it is not feasible as the gravitational field of a black hole is immensely powerful and constantly fluctuating. Scientists believe that the intense gravity of a black hole would stretch anything that falls into it into thin strands, making it impossible for anything to survive. Furthermore, the contents of a black hole's interior remain unknown. Despite this, Nolan took artistic license in portraying Cooper's journey into the black hole in Interstellar. Similarly, in the movie, Miller's planet is shown to have an accretion disk, a rotating disk of hot matter that emits electromagnetic radiation before ultimately vanishing. 
Despite the fact that it's impossible to survive in a black hole, it is still possible to orbit it. In the movie, the accretion disk around the Miller's planet spins so fast that it generates electromagnetic radiation in the form of X-rays, which goes into the black hole, thus increasing its mass. This chain of events continues as humanity is once again on the run. However, if astronauts were to get as close to the disk around a supermassive black hole as shown in the movie, they would be melted. In the movie, we witness Hathaway orbiting the black hole while Cooper flies over it effortlessly, almost like he's flying through Saturn's rings. However, this depiction is not accurate, as getting too close to a black hole would result in complete destruction. Nevertheless, the film's producers can be forgiven as the accretion disk portrayed in the movie is not the same as the real ones, and it is static and frozen, for artistic reasons of course. The team in the movie experienced the concept of time dilation. McConaughey and his crew explored Miller's planet, which had strong gravity due to its proximity to the gargantuan black hole. This caused time on the planet to move much slower than on Earth. Similarly, Romiley was orbiting Gargantua from a distance, where gravity had less impact on him. It's important to note that time only slows relative to another set of people in a situation with a significant difference in gravitational fields or potential. When Cooper and his team landed on Miller's planet, they discovered the wreckage of Miller's ship in a large ocean. They were surprised that the wreckage was still intact, considering Miller landed on the planet years ago. The team decided to stay for a few minutes to obtain Miller's data, but they were interrupted by a massive tidal wave that flooded their engine and nearly destroyed them. In the movie, the team finds themselves stuck on Miller's planet for just a few hours, only to learn that 23 years have gone by on Earth. Cooper watches videos from his family, which have accumulated during his absence, and realizes that his daughter is now older than him and working at NASA. This illustrates the concept of relativity, where time moves differently depending on the observer's position relative to a gravitational field. If we assume that Romiley's spaceship has a similar gravitational potential as Earth, people on Earth would also have experienced 23 years passing. In the movie, it's portrayed that time dilation near a black hole would make time slow down, but this isn't exactly accurate. Even if Cooper had a camera in his head for the entire journey, and managed to send a live video back to Earth, which is impossible due to the speed of light limit, his daughter would still see a 3.5-hour video, not a slowed-down one. In reality, experiencing time dilation by a factor of 60,000 would require being extremely close to the black hole's surface and traveling at over 99.99% the speed of light, which is not feasible. Additionally, the minimum stable orbit around a black hole must be at least three times the size of the black hole itself, due to the way black holes warp space. To achieve the significant time dilation depicted in the movie, the planet would need to be dangerously close to the black hole and in an unstable orbit. While clocks would run slower at that distance, the intense gravitational forces would likely cause the planet and any objects on it to cease to exist. So, while it may not technically be time travel, being that close to a black hole would result in the perception of time passing more slowly. In the end, with the help of Einstein's theories and Murph's insights, humanity was saved in the movie. However, while the concept of a gravity equation exists in reality, it is not advanced enough to enable humans to evacuate Earth anytime soon. Moreover, the way the Endurance spacecraft landed in the movie seems too simplistic to be plausible. If NASA had such advanced propulsion technology, they would have been able to reach many places in a much shorter amount of time. The movie also introduces the idea of a causal loop, which presents a philosophical puzzle. Cooper's main objective in the mission was to send signals to Murph, informing her about how to get to the secret NASA installation. This was part of NASA's plan to save humanity. However, there was a twist. Cooper was only able to send these signals because he went on the mission in the first place. This creates a causal loop where a future version of Cooper in a black hole creates the dust patterns that lead the past Cooper to act in a way that results in his journey to the black hole and beyond. While the movie Interstellar features various planets, NASA has revealed that they have yet to discover a planet that is exactly like Earth. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has found numerous potential Earth-like planets, providing future generations with an abundance of worlds to explore. 
This contrasts with Dr. Brandt's statement in the movie that there is no hope for Earth and that we must leave it. It raises the question of whether humans will eventually need to relocate to another habitable planet, or whether scientists are exaggerating Earth's issues to gather funding for their space exploration projects. Do you believe that there are other Earth-like planets out there? Share your thoughts in the comments below.